G'day Sagittarius, welcome to TJ Terra Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you. How's that now? Okay, so yes, I know, there's sound issues with my videos. Hopefully this one's a little bit better. Anyway, I've changed the position of my camera, so hopefully you can hear me a bit better. Um, but I have, good news is I have ordered a microphone. Bad news is I don't know when it's going to come because postage here is extremely slow at this moment because everybody that's in lockdown is ordering stuff online. So everything, the parcels are just piling up. Uh, so hopefully it comes soon. I'm really hoping it comes soon. But yes, I am aware and hopefully I can... I'll be able to fix this soon. So please do bear with me. Please hang in there. <laughs> I'm trying to make it better. I'm trying my best. All right, don't give up on me. <laughs> I'm going to do it. All right. Okay. All right. So this is a general reading. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, also, you might want to check out your other placements or check out my playlist for your sign. There might be something that relates more to your current situation. We're on different timelines, so yeah. Cross watches. This could be you. If it's not, it's possibly someone else. So, you know, don't get all cranky about what you're seeing here. <laughs> it's probably someone else if you're not doing that. I'm not saying anything bad about you. This is the energy coming towards them. So, all right. Keep that in mind. Um, thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes, views. That's all awesome. Every single one of them. Thank you all so, so, so much. Um, yeah. Really appreciate it. So, um, I also, I will be listing the decks that I'm using in this video, under this video, as I did last week. Okay, let's go. A message for you is, ooh, wedding. This situation involves marriage. Okay, so you could be married, they could be married, you could be married to each other. Um, you might want to get married. You might not want to get married. <laughs> you might have certain views on marriage. Mm. But, yeah, something about marriage, something about wedding. Mm. You might meet this person at a wedding. You might have met them at a wedding. Mm. Don't know. All right, love energy coming towards Sagittarius. Three cards, please. Can you tell us? Ooh, there's one. Boom, we got two more. Alright, that one and that one. Okay, so we've got love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. So they've learned how to love themselves first, they have self-respect, they're hoping that it's going to attract you. Excuse my nails, I haven't done them. Um, yeah, so, hmm, excellent. Religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So their love life is influenced by certain belief systems that they have. Hmm. Okay, perhaps they believe the same things as you do about marriage. And express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So they're going to express some love to you. We'll find out what sort of expression they make. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. Oh, let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So they're letting go of any control issues. They're going to just let this flow naturally. Ooh, they've got some codependency here, though. Some addictions that are affecting their love life. Mm, they think you could be the one. And they're trusting and trying to have faith that this is going to work out. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, they are trusting that you are the one, that this could work out here. Um, they definitely think that you could be the one, and that could be that they're 
got a codependency to that. They're a bit addicted to the fact that you're the one. Um, but they are letting go of those control issues, so... They know. They know they're a bit obsessed with you. <laughs> ah, Saggy. And I do want to um, try and call you Sagittarius a bit more because I know a lot of us read readers, which I'm responsible for it too, when we go through the signs, it's, you know, you're the only one that gets abbreviated, aren't you? Poor Saggy. Sagittarius. It's always Sag, isn't it? That's why I had the Saggy. <laughs> message for you is Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. See, Capricorn gets their name in full. <laughs> it's not fair on you, is it? Alright, um, yeah. So, Page of Pentacles. Uh, you look at the messages and make sure your messages are stable. Any communication that you make is, is stable and grounded. Um, true. Um, when you meet people in person, do you perhaps want to offer this person a gift? Do you want to see them in person? Do you want to message them about some sort of stability here? Um, <clears throat> yeah. Something you might want to look at. Ooh, you're looking at, oh, you want marriage. You want commitment here. You want messages of stability. Wow, you want something, you, someone you can offer stability to. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It just fell out like this. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy again. The, all queens are loving, but she's the loving queen of stability. Stability, love, marriage. She's the marrying kind. And you want to charge forward to that happy ever after. With something that is stable and loving. Wow. Sagittarius. Wow. You know what you want, don't you? Well, there's the King of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Um, you have a lot of love to give. You have a lot of love to give. Because this King has a massive amount of love to give. But he doesn't show it because he's learnt to control his emotions. So you're having to control your emotions. You have all this love that you want to give. But where's your person to give it to, hey? Well, here they come. <laughs> all right. Love energy coming towards Sagittarius. Tell us about love yourself first. Where is that card here? That love energy coming towards Sagittarius. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Pentacles. So, you know, they've loved them they love themselves first. They're trying to be self respect show this that got self respect to attract you in. <clears throat> They're waiting for that wheel to turn on this, for you to notice them. Cause they don't want to hold back from you anymore. I want the wheel to turn on holding back from you. They've got this love they want to give you. Oh, look at that. The Hierophant. They want that love and stability too. They want that commitment with you as well. This could be belief systems as well. Um, but they want that wheel to turn on holding back and are just loving themselves. They want something that's, yeah, committed here. And they want to communicate that with you. Mm, they don't want to be left out in the cold and confused. Ooh. Cheating mind, stealing, options, confusion, illusion, being left out in the cold. Mm, they might want to talk to you about that, how that's happened to them in the past. Yeah, it wasn't balance, give and take, but they had all this love. There's the Queen of Cups now. We saw the King. You had the King. They have the Queen. They have this awesome love to give. They've had to do a lot of soul searching here because they've gotten their heart broken. But they're looking at it, taking a chance, 
made that judgment call to take a chance on love and move forward. Regardless of the sleepless nights they had. Yeah. Because something wasn't balanced. There was cheating, lying, stealing. There was confusion and illusion. Someone got left out in the cold here and they want to tell you about that. That's why they've had to learn to love themselves first because, yeah, putting themselves second, third, fourth, fifth, the end of the line, mm, that brought them a lot of pain. So the wheels turn now. So, they, yeah, they might hold back a little bit on commitment until they get to know you. Let that wheel turn, get to know you. All right, tell us about religious factors for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius. The Hermit. Well, when it comes to their belief systems, when it comes to love, they've done a lot of internal thinking about this. They've spent a lot of time going within, looking at the reasons why they think that way about commitment. Mm. Looking at why they have those belief systems, trying to work on that. Eight of Cups. Is it their wish fulfillment to have something that is committed? Well, again, that's that self-love. Nine of Cups. Filling your own cups. Being emotionally fulfilled on your own. Not expecting someone else to fill your cups. Two Nine of Cups people will make a Ten of Cups. So, yeah, I guess they're, they've reviewed what their beliefs were. Perhaps they thought that it was the other way around. So that's why they've had learned to love themselves first. They were expecting someone to fill their cups before. Now they've gone within and thought about it, and they know they have to fill their own cups first. Three of Wands, they were waiting for something, waiting for an apology. Uh, Page of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Energy. The Magician. And the Four of Cups. Yeah, look. I think they were, they were waiting for someone to fill their cup, but send them a message of pa of love. But all they were getting were fish in a cup and rocky waves behind them. They were trying to manifest in love, love offers, but they weren't what they wanted. They weren't fulfilling them. Yeah. Waiting on offers that weren't fulfilling. Yeah, they've closed out that cycle now. Yeah. Now they're looking at passion. <laughs> Passionate communication before they invest their love. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, communicating with action. They want that act, the communication. It might be passionate, but what's the action behind it? Because ones are action as well. So, all talk and no action. Yeah. Yes, stability, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They want something stable here. Um, and they're willing to put the work in. They're hoping that you're going to be this stability. That you want this stability too and that you'll put that work in as well. So, all right. Let's go. Express your love. Why is that here for Sagittarius? The low energy coming towards Sagittarius. Okay, we got a bank card, <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, express your love, they want to offer that stability, offer a beginning, right from the beginning, stability, the world card, and the Queen of Pentacles, yep, expressing that love, offering that stable beginning with you right from the beginning something stable and then they want that to close out so that there can be some once that 
cycle has ended, they want this to move on to commitment. Because this is the married queen. Queen of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Someone who is stable, committed, grounded, loving. Knows how to, you know, it's the catch when it comes to commitment. I'm getting, I want to go, for, well, well, look, this is from the ace to the queen. So they're, they're going to express that love with a stable beginning. Then they want to go through the whole cycle because that's what this is about, going through the whole cycle. And at the end, having this stability with you. So going from the ace of pentacles all the way through to the queen with you. And when they express their love, they may tell you that. <laughs> this is how I, I want to start things out with stability between us two. And as we go through this cycle, I want you to know that I want this to be a long-term commitment. Wow, that might scare you awake, Sagittarius. <laughs> ah, ten of wands. They're carrying a, this. This is a heavy load for them. This is heavy. It's a big responsibility on their shoulders. Um, but this is what they want. They want to express this. And them not telling you is weighing heavily on them. They're also feeling a bit burdened. It's a heavy burden to carry because they know that this might be a bit too much for you. This might be too much for you to handle. Hmm... Death card I could just end things. They're hoping it doesn't. They're hoping it's transforming into something. They you know they're going to have to wait and see. Are you going to break their heart? Or is your judgment call going to be for this to be something? Be their wish fulfillment. It's your judgment call here. They just want truth right from the start. They want to be truthful right from the start. So it's your judgment call. Will you break their heart or will you be their wish fulfillment? They're waiting to see which way this is going to transform. They've let go of those control issues. The ball is in your court, Sergi. Tear it, I guess. <laughs> All right, Sagittarius. Let's find out a bit more, eh? Wow. I mean, it might not be traditional marriage. It could just be um, commitment of some sort between you two. Exclusive commitment. All right, your message is show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So, Sagittarius, are you not showing people the real you? You need to show the real you. And to this person, you need to show them the real you. Because they're looking at long term with you. So, you know, you can't hide things from them. And don't be afraid to show the world the real you. You're awesome, Sagittarius. Don't think otherwise. Show the world the real you. You get out there and shine. Shine up. <laughs> All right. Love energy coming towards Sagittarius. Three cards, please. What else can you tell us? We got two. One more, please. There we go. Oh, you got two more. So, what I'm doing now is the bottom one, the one that hit the table first, that goes in. This one's gone back. We don't know what it is. No, not looking at it. <laughs> but I'm not putting them back and starting again. So, <coughs> okay, the energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. Ooh. Ooh, the energy is gaining momentum for them. Ooh, bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. So they want to bring love in. And step out of your comfort zone, North Node. They're going to step out of their comfort zone here. 
Bottom of the... Oh, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. They're going to take that action. Nothing yet is... N nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. Yeah, they know that. Nothing's set in stone yet. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. And it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. So they're releasing any th negative thoughts regarding this. They want this new romantic cycle to begin. They know nothing's set in stone yet, but they're going to take action. They are going to take action to get this. Well, that's what they want. They want this set in stone. <laughs> they might bring a chisel and a rock with them. And I ask you to carve in stone that you will be together. <laughs> Crosswatch, I'm not picking on you. I think it's adorable. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> they want to lock it down. Lock it down. <laughs> they don't want you going nowhere. All right. So for you, Sagittarius, you get the chariot. Um, you want to charge forward triumphantly with this too. Like... You've got your light and dark ponies, horses, lined up together. You've got them under control. You've got the reins in your hands. You're shedding light on anything that needs to be shed light on. You're balanced. You're, you want to move forward. You want to move forward. You want this to be triumphant too. You want this to work out. You want to move forward with a committed relationship too. Ooh, six of cups. Memories of love. Could, could, I mean, this could be someone from the past, of course. Six of Cups, but it's also remembering what love feels like. Remembering how good it is to be in love. That feeling of love that, that's within you, it doesn't, I mean, someone else brings it up in you, but the, the energy is within you, that feeling is within you, it's in your memories. So, hmm, you're remembering what love felt like. There's memories of love. Ah, on your saggy. All right. Tell us about the energy is gaining momentum for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. We have the magician. And the Queen of Pentacles, it doesn't surprise me at all. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, which the Queen is up here. The Queen is here. This is gaining momentum. They're manifesting big time. <laughs> this loving, stable person, which is you. This is what they want. Someone loving and stable. And this is how they see you, Sagittarius. I know it's earth energy, it's not fire. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're in all these energies, depending on our situation. But they are get that that's gaining momentum. They're manifesting and manifesting. <laughs> They're close to getting what they want. You know, they've got all the tools to make this happen. They're building up that power. They want this loving, stable commitment with you. Wow. What's going on with fire signs? High Priestess. Intuitive. Intuition is on point. Um, they're keeping it a secret, though. They're keeping it a secret. They're just going to come into you from nowhere. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. They're keeping this a secret. They're using their intuition as well. Because they want this to be peaceful and grounded. They're um, meditating on getting, meditating, meditating. Yeah, they're totally focused on you. Oh, looking at it from a different perspective. Gathering information. Mm. Could be guarding their heart a little bit. Hoping that you're not going to be cold towards them, I'm hearing. Hoping they can get that guard down from you. That you'll let them approach. 
Uh, these are both um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Yeah, they want to come correctly and they're trying to find out the best way to do that. They're looking up, down, upside down, every way possible and even meditating on how to come correctly because this energy is gaining momentum for them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like a... Tr it's like... um. It's going to say perpetual motion machine. I'm pretty sure they go faster the, the, the longer they go for. Um, that's what they're like. Or like a train that's speeding up. Mm. Alright, bring love into the situation. Tell me why is that card here for the love energy coming towards Sagittarius. It's just love they're bringing into the situation. Oh, that's a lot of cards. I didn't like the way they came out either. No. No. Let's try again. I put them. Uh, they're in the middle here, so they should come out if they're meant to. Tell me about bring love into the situation. Yeah, there we go. A couple of them come back out. I know that was one of them, unfortunately. So we've got the Eight of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Oh dear. trying to bring love into this situation even though you might walk away because it might be someone else um, cheating line stealing and, and you know they they're trying to keep their heart in the right place even though they know you might walk away and they could be lying to themselves here about this Well, they're going to try and bring love in to stop you walking away because that's the strategy they want to use here. I mean, the G, the liar, stealer, does have a plan. Because they don't want to get caught, do they? Two of cups, because they want this love with you. This is what they want. They want to bring this love into the situation. Look, it's this same woman here that's being walked away from by someone else. Hmm. They could have walked away before in the past because someone cheated or lied. And you could have walked away because they did that. They're trying to bring love into this situation. And they've walked away from whatever deception there was. They want this love. Two of Cups. It's the same woman. Same dress. Almost. Almost. <laughs> yeah. And under that, we've got the three of wands. They're waiting. They're willing to wait. So they want to come in and offer this love. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with the Knight of Cups. But they're worried about that painful ending. They want to move on from that painful ending. If there was a painful ending between you, they want to move on from it. Otherwise, they just want to move on. If it's a painful ending or if there is love here, they're waiting to see. Either way, they want to move forward. They don't want to be stuck in this, not knowing what's going on. Like this energy is gaining momentum. They're, take, they're taking action. They know it's time to take action. Because they can't stay in that energy any longer. Alright. Tell me about step out of your comfort zone for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. Look at that, Ten of Cups. This is what they want to step out of their comfort zone for. They've got to come out of that comfort zone. They're going to take that action because they want this happy ever after with you. That's it. 
they want this with you. They know they've got to step out of their comfort zone to have this. And four of wands. It's beautiful. They want this stable, passionate life with you. They want to start with stability. Passion and stability. Like, this is... It's all about stability for this person, definitely. But, you know, there's passion here too. This can be the 1111 soulmate card. Um, but in this deck, it's a treehouse. <laughs> it's an awesome treehouse. It's definitely not going anywhere. It's stable. till the tree grows. <laughs> but, yeah. This is what they want. But, again, there's that judgment call. The cycle needs to end, but how does it end? With them alone? Or do they get you beautiful Saggy? Aries Leo Sag energy with the Queen of Wands. Passionate, loving, sexy, confident, not necessarily the settling down type, but <laughs> can be a bit of a party lady. But she can settle down too, it's up to her. But yeah... Do they get you, Sagittarius? Get you and your love? Or are they left to go and wander off in, out in the cold into a cave? <laughs> uh, they know this cycle has to end. So, yeah. They're coming in to see what you say. What will you say, Sagittarius? What will you say? Mm. All right. See, you've got girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So this is what you're doing. Yeah? If you're not, you should be. Because, yeah... Spend time with your friends. Move on from whatever was in the past. Like, let that go. Ha be happy being single. That's that nine of cups. Like, be in nine of cups. Happily fulfilled emotionally with yourself. Like, if you don't enjoy your own company, why would anybody else's? So don't be afraid to be alone with yourself. Enjoy your own company. If you don't enjoy it, why would anybody else? Like, really, you know, be happy being single. It'll attract in another happy single person. Living in the moment, having fun, yeah. So if you're not doing that, do it. And if you are doing it, awesome. All right. Ooh, what else? Ooh, look what you got. Love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Ooh, but that's not enough. Frustrated in love, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. Maybe you do want to call this person, but you don't think you're enough. Well, don't think that, Sagi. Never. Never, Sagittarius, did you ever think that. You are enough. You're more than enough. You're awesome. Let them call you. <laughs> They're fired up. They're coming in. <laughs> you can call them if you want. But don't ever think you're not enough. You are more than enough. You are awesome, Saggy. Don't you ever forget that. Don't you ever forget that. Look at this. how this person feels about you. Wow. Alright, love energy coming towards Sagittarius. Give us three cards. Can you tell us? Oh, thank you. Oh, I got an extra one. Alright, oh, extra couple. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. We have the butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. So they definitely want this moving on to the next phase. They want it going from the ace to the queen. They do yeah, they want this to evolve. Date. Meeting someone new, getting back out there, plan, set a date. They want to set a date for, to lock you down. <laughs> I don't mean it in a bad way. <laughs> they want to set a date with you. 
Sword and the Rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. They are going to speak the truth to you. They want the, everything clear and truth up front. Yeah. Clock. Need time, takes time, in time cycles, time to heal, progress. All I can hear is tick, 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 like a bomb's about to go off. <laughs> But not a no 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 not a not a a bad one. <laughs> um, yeah, like they're about to explode. This energy is yeah they're like a ticking time bomb. <laughs> they're about to go off. They're gonna take action. They are gonna gain that's gaining momentum. It's the clock is ticking. They are coming in. They're waiting for that right time though. And mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. So you still mirroring each other in some ways, possibly the way you feel about each other. You know, is this something that you do want? They're hoping that you're going to mirror them and want that same stability that they want. Bottom of the deck is self-indulgence. That's that love yourself first because focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Yeah, they've done their shadow work when, when it comes to um, commitment um, and they've learned to love themselves first. So they've learned their self-worth and they've done their shadow work. So th that's awesome. Oh, wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting pro They want this commitment with you. Mm, cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over in your head. Mm, I think they're worried that they might be, you might think they're a bit outdated if they want things traditional. Mm, or there were, might have been those old belief systems that they had and were outdated. And separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. Yeah, well, they're unsure about what this is gonna, where this is going to go. I mean, they're missing you. They do think about you a lot because they're gaining that momentum. They've, you know, they're unsure of this future with you, but they've, you know, looked at that outdated thinking that they had when it came to commitment. They want this with you and they've done their self-work, so that's excellent. Very nice. Alright, watch these cards blow it all up. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see. Let's see what they say. Alright. Ooh, I was raised not to show emotion. Okay. Are you not showing emotion towards this person, Sagittarius? Do you like to not show your emotions? Well, I suppose you need to get to know someone first, which is good. But, you know, it might take a little bit for you to show your emotions here. Hmm. Yeah, it might take you a little bit to show your emotions towards this person. Maybe just hold back a little bit, because they seem super keen. Um, you might be able to slow them down a bit. Ooh, I'm afraid you will reject me. Are you worried that they're not going to want what you want? What's going on there, Sagittarius? Hmm... Worried that they're not going to want to go as you're not going to, you might want to go a bit slower than what they do. Well, communicate, people, communicate with each other. All right, love energy coming towards Sagittarius. What would they like to tell Sagittarius, or what do they want you to know? Okay. Oh, okay. All right, we have. Oh, no, they were first, sorry. So, we've got, I pretend I don't care about you. Ooh. Yeah, see, this is them hiding those feelings that they're manifesting you in. I am not over you. Ooh. They've had feelings for you for a while. 
They can't get over you at all. I feel like I'm losing you. Ooh, is that why they're running in to take action? Well, you weren't showing... You're, oh, not showing any emotion, so... Hmm, maybe they think they're going to lose you. I can't wait to see you again. Hmm, yeah. They definitely want to see you again. I need time to heal. Ooh, that's interesting. Maybe if you, um... Reject them, they might need some time to heal before you. Mm. Well, they were doing some meditation, it could have been healing, but you know, they've done their self work, so maybe that's what that's about. I'm not ready to be with you yet. Mm, they're building that momentum, they're, they're keeping, they're trying to get themselves balanced and here, like into the best position that they they can be in because they want to offer you something awesome so they're possibly doing all that self work so they're not quite ready yet not yet so they're pretending they don't care but they're worried they're going to lose you um, I bury myself in work to forget you yeah because all they do is think about you and now they want to come in and da 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 da. So they're just going to put their head down and get into their work because they'll get nothing done. Because all they do is think about you. And it's not forget you forever. It's so they can function. <laughs> I'm scared I'll get hurt so I run. Oh, okay. I don't trust you. I'm always thinking about you and lying was easier than telling the truth. Oh, that could be what this was about. Because we did have that cheating, lying, stealing here. That bring love into the situation. So uh, look, they got scared and they ran. And it was easier to lie to you than tell you the truth about this. These feelings they have. They're always thinking about you. Hmm... But I think I don't trust you is the fact that they don't trust, they don't know. Do you really want this love with them? You know, you've got to put a lot of faith and trust in someone to love them. Um, maybe because they've been scared and hurt and ran and, and lied to you. Because it was easier than telling the truth about how scared they get. They might think you don't trust them. We're always thinking about you. Yeah, I think they think you don't trust them. Because they ran before. Because, yeah, they thought they weren't good enough. But they've learnt to love themselves. They've worked on those issues that they've had with their beliefs in when it comes to love. They've let go of those control issues. They've transformed into something. Hmm. Wow. All right. Well, that's your reading, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. <laughs> All right. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and good luck with this. Like, mm, they're going to step out of that comfort zone, and are they going to come in and offer that stability? We'll, we'll have to find out, won't we? All right. That's your reading. I'll do another one in a few days, and we'll see what's going on then, hey? Alright, well, all the best, good luck, take care, and I'll catch you later.